All right, this is a real quick one about parameters. Sometimes they're called flags. Right? So let's take a look at ls, our old friend, list. There's our stuff that we have in our data course directory. OK. That's all well and good, but we've seen this one before, ls space dash l. We just fed it a flag or a parameter denoted by the little hyphen sign there. And all that does is modify the behavior of the original command. So ls lists everything, as you see. ls listed longwise does that. If you want to see a list of all the possible commands, you can do ls dash dash help. All right. So here's all the possible flags we can give that. Remember, capitalization matters. So lowercase a and uppercase A are different. And there's all these different things we can do to change the output of our formula. So a dash lowercase a is the same as typing dash dash all. Okay, it's just a shortcut. Do not ignore entries starting with dot. Well, entries starting with dot are hidden files, and so that's saying show everything. Okay. Um, we've got ls G. It's like L, but don't list owner. Right, let's try these. LS, A, and G. We can add a bunch here. So we don't have the owner. If we take off the G. You can, oh, you can see here it's showing the owner, who modified it last, and when it was modified. G is just he modified it last. All right. There's some other stuff. Group directories first. This one doesn't have a shortcut, so we have to actually type out group directories first. Okay. We've got lowercase or lowercase h there. Human readable. So human readable file sizes. And that's kind of nice because here's our file size. That's in bytes. So if I say lsgh for human readable, ah, 5.1 kilobytes. Okay, so this is more understandable for me. What other stuff can we do here? One, one file per line. T, sort by modification time. ls, one, T. Cool. L. Now I can really see the modification time. So newer stuff first, older stuff last. Okay. We can do ls, a, h, l. We can throw them all on there. So this is the same as typing ls, a, h, l. So that's showing all files, including hidden stuff. So here's a hidden file, get ignore. It's showing them lengthwise, and it's doing it with human-readable file sizes. All right, so those are flags. Uh, lots of different programs have them. Cut has the tell it what delimiter flag to use, what field to use. Okay. Word count has an L flag. So EDA trial RMD, there's a file that just tells us how many lines there are instead of doing lines, words, and characters. If you want to see all these, you can do help. Okay, LS. Neato.